Hello YouTube, this is Bowtie Media, and today we've got another installment of This Week in EDM. We go over songs that came out this week in EDM. Self-explanatory, love it so easy. Uh, normally, we will start with the trash category, and we're going to hop into it right away. Uh, but no trash songs this week. No songs that came out this week that I thought were that bad. Uh, we are going through 20 songs that I thought were uh, good enough to be put it, uh, on this list, or interesting enough to be on this list. So, uh, 20 songs. So, let's kick it off in the bad category songs that I personally again my opinion I thought were bad uh don't fly away the Pinal remix uh, originally by technically Elvis Presley uh this is from the new Elvis movie and it feels like a cash grab more than anything it's just a Pinal kind of funk beat over a Elvis vocals uh the vocals are even pushed back so much in the mix that it's not even the prominent part of the song and it's the beat and uh for an Elvis song I don't think you really want Elvis to be the back part of your track so I thought the track was bad up next, Why Can't You Wait by The Chainsmokers and Bob Moses. Uh, Chainsmokers are doing this really random thing where they had their album come out and then they just had another song on top of it. Let that like it's the album plus this new song and album plus this other new song. It's very weird. Uh, but honestly, sad to see Bob Moses on this. I really, really do like Bob Moses and don't love the Chainsmokers too much. And so I was very hopeful for the song, but uh, it was really just boring. And the singing from both parties felt pretty bad here, honestly, even from Bob Moses. I'm not sure if just the in the presence of the Chainsmokers makes me not like the Bob Moses one as much, but I thought both both vocal performances were very phoned in and the song was just boring. So. As we move on to New Money by Calvin Harris featuring 21 Savage. Uh, it's a Calvin Harris beat uh, over a phoned in 21 Savage rapping part. Uh, I don't love 21 for the most part. And uh, this is, I don't know, this is another just really boring song, uh, even for commercial standards. This, I don't, I don't see how this would even get played on the radio. Just maybe just because of the names, but it's, it's so boring. Like it's just, there's nothing happening. I don't get it. It's, it's. Yeah, it's a whole lot of nothing, so let's move on. Uh, we've got Hot In It by Tiesto and Charlie XCX, an insanely quick dance pop track uh, made for widespread appeal. Um, beat is okay, and Charlie's vocals are, I'd say, just about average here, uh, Some with some inklings of some hyper pop here and there, but uh, primarily in the dance pop genre, but uh, just very bland. Um, the other songs were boring. This one is just bland. There's just, yeah. It's just, it's like, why? Why does this song exist? So that's that. As we move into the meh category songs that I think are just kind of meh, but maybe you would enjoy more than me based on listening habits. Uh, I Took a Ride by Zed's Dead, a very chill track with um, not a lot happening. I really couldn't find a lot to say about it. Um, just very chill, nothing happening. So we move on to <laughs> Never Really Loved Me by Kago and Dean Lewis. I appreciated the long uh, verse intro or the long just intro of, of singing uh, from Dean Lewis. I pre appreciated that. But uh, it's kind of your basic tropical house from Kygo. Uh, and honestly, I just can't really think of Kygo as anything more than just meh. He's made the same tropical house beat for years now. And it's just, yeah, the super quick drops with eight bars. Sometimes even less. It's just, yeah, not, not for me. As we move on to Hole Again by Steve Aoki and Kays featuring John Martin. Uh, this is actually like a really like commercial house track. Like this is what old school progressive house sounded like. It's now kind of been into this genre that I think most people call commercial house. Um, I haven't heard this style of house in actually a long time. I've talked about commercial style house songs, but this is like, this is like old school progressive house. So it is a bit of a throwback, um, but uh, <laughs> it's very mid. It's mid to 2010s. And that being said, it's, it's just a very mid song. That's all I really want to say about it. As we move on to Summer Nights by Dubs and Braden Burnett, uh, not really, a, it's a very non-committal song. It's happy with summer vibes, but uh, isn't trying to be anything more than that, really. It's just a very lighthearted, let's just get some plays here going song, just to fill playlists or to be the background of a tiki bar or something. So that's that. So we move into Acrylic Love by DDD. Uh, Y'all love DDD and uh, I'm not the hugest fan, but uh, man, this song is <laughs> a lot of key changes. First of all, uh, it's bright and happy, but uh, in my opinion, nothing really happens in this song. And I, some of you may be going, <gasps> I can't believe you said that. But uh, I'm I'm glad y'all love this, but it's really not for me. I don't get this style of music a ton, not gonna lie. So glad you like it, but not for me. Uh, if This Is A Dream by Kid, uh, the chillest Moombaton you've ever heard in your life. I was shocked when the like drop came in and I was like, 
what? I was like confused. It's like a Dylan Francis song, but like <laughs> chill. Uh, it's very different direction from Kid from what I've heard in the past at least, uh, but props for the unique take on chill. I'll, I'll give them that. So we move on to Pick Yourself Up by Slushy and Pauline Herr. Uh, I gave the last track of his and last album a lot of flack. I really didn't like it, but um, I like this quite a bit more. Uh, the atmosphere feels a little bit more explored, uh, but the synths are are annoying as much as I don't like them from Slushy. And uh, yeah, is this an upcoming project, a Slushy Summer? It's That's two songs in a row now, back-to-back weeks, where... Uh, yeah, it says from a slushy summer, so maybe we're getting a project coming up soon. But uh, I'm hoping for more of this and less of last week's song. So, yeah, this is this is not too bad. Uh, next up, Hearth and Home by Ramesses B. A uh, very very basic lo-fi track with um, lots of nice foley and kind of soundscape, uh, soundscape atmosphere of sounds. Uh, just very intentional. Yeah. Foley of the the real world sounds. Foley is like the real world kind of sounds where you do stuff and then it. Yeah, you know what I mean if you listen to the song. So, uh, pretty basic lo-fi, but uh, not that bad. So we move on to Everything by Snouse. Uh, been on a roll of a lot of sweet singles as of late, and this is a new bass house style track from Snouse. Uh, it's a tad repetitive, especially for how short it is. Snouse loves his kind of basic, really quick in and out hits of Trap, um, but uh, this is a little different from him, so I appreciated that. But in the end, I, uh, I just felt it was mad. I, I really just not a fan of short stuff, not gonna lie. Uh, up next, In Too Deep by Starseed featuring Alex Angelo. Uh, a great fusion of melodic dubstep and future bass sounds. Um, I was, every other part, I was like, oh, this is future bass. Oh, this is melodic dubstep. So a great fusion of both, I think. Um, Starseed does a lot of pretty unique stuff and I appreciate that. But, uh, when it came to the pitched up vocals, they were quite piercing for me and I just wasn't having it. So other than the vocals, I think the song would have landed in good, but it did not. Uh, and up next we have Moment by Athena and Smile, uh, a <laughs> one I tried to do reaction for and messed up the video, so I, there's no actual reaction video for this, but, uh, I thought the production was great, I liked it a lot more than Eternal, the two of them, what they did last in 2021, uh, but I didn't love the vocal performance, I felt like it was kind of just lame, uh, a little half-assed, and, uh, pretty, pretty boring, so, uh, I don't know, I loved the production, didn't love the vocals, sorry. As we move into the Good category now, songs that I think are are solid. Uh, we've got Cheat Code by Pegboard Nerds and Redless. Um, a song that I really want to hear more uh, style that I want to hear Pegboard Nerds exploring a lot more in future. Uh, just, I don't know, yeah, I don't know if a lot of it's from Redless, but I absolutely love the intentional pauses um, that are put littered all throughout the track and that just adds so much energy and power to the comeback. So way to go, Pegboard Nerds and Redless. As we move on to uh, Manika, uh, the Chimerian remix originally by Boombox Cartel. The Cartel 2 remix package is out with some stuff from uh, Godlands, Chimerian, uh, what was the last one? Oh, uh, St. Punk, I think was in the, the last round of stuff. But uh, Chimerian has been on fire recently. Uh, some of the best DNB right now, and this is no exception. Uh, it's just aggressive, hard-hitting drum and bass that isn't too much, isn't too overbearing, and... Yeah, big fan. I would go listen to this for sure. Uh, and then we've got Touch by Golden Features featuring uh, Romarin. I'm not sure how to say that exactly. Uh, fantastic production on this. I uh, love the subtle vocals, bright synths, uh, and just a, a kind of grooving house. Like, I think it's house, almost like electronica. I'm not sure what it is exactly, but uh, just love it. It's a great kind of almost semi-nostalgic track. I, uh, yeah, big fan. And our penultimate track of the week is Guiding Light by Rogue. Uh, I liked it a lot to begin with, and it's already growing on me even more so than when I first listened to it. Uh, it just it just makes me feel really happy. The song is so bright and so fun, and it's just, it makes me feel happy, and I like that. I like when songs do that. And uh, our final track of the week is a standout track, a, th- a song that I thought was a huge standout. It's one that I talked about before. This is Good For Me by Stonebank and Amel. Uh, a favorite of mine of theirs as of late uh, in terms of Stonebank and Amel's collaborations. Uh, and a new genre, the future rave on Monster Cat. Uh, it's, yeah, it's a great fusion of a commercial style with a creativity of something you'd hear more on a smaller label like Monster Cat. And so 
I I just loved the track. It was fantastic. So much life, so much power, and it, vocals were fantastic. I love what Stonebake did with the Mel's vocals. Just all around great. So uh, that was it for this week in EDM. Let me know what you guys thought of these songs. How would you rank them? What do you think? Anything I missed this week? Songs you think should have been on here, but I did not cover. Let me know in the comment section below. But with that, I've been Bowtie Media, and I will see you guys in another video.